Do we have a generator for emergency power? Yes. Yes, we do. I bought this generator several years ago. It's a multi-fuel, which means it runs on propane or gasoline. And the original plan was to have a hookup to my propane tank. I bought the regulator. I just never had it installed. We don't use the generator that much, so we really don't need to hook it up to the propane tank. But that is the goal, to have a little bit of redundancy. But the generator does run two things. It runs my workshop shed, and it also powers the house. Let me show you how. We pretty much just have the house plug plugged in, run down, and it goes in that conduit piece right over there. I gotta clean that out. It then runs under the house, and it comes out here. I then have two lines on it. It's 240 volt that's coming from the generator, but I just gotta split into two individual lines, one of which comes here, right here, this little charger circuit here, waterproof connection, and runs my battery charger. So that'll charge the battery bank when the generator's running. The other circuit goes in through my home-built transfer switch. Hang on, I'll take this apart and show you how it works. All right, ta-da, transfer switch, bear with me. I originally had a proper transfer switch that had a relay or a, what do you call that, a uh, delay relay. Okay, yeah, sorry. But it burnt out and then the uh, transfer switch itself was bad. So this is actually just a contactor that I put in there. It's rated for 30 amps, so it'll actually handle everything on this particular leg of the generator and also anything that our inverter will throw at it. But its default off mode is set to run off the inverter line that comes in through this conduit into the box, goes up, and wires in. Generator, however, comes on. Got it rigged up to this little transfer switch here. The inputting power from here comes in, is wired over to the activation circuit, which activates the coil and then pushes the contacts down and makes contacts run on the other leg which makes the whole system pretty much run off the generator. What's cool about this is I can choose whether I want to run the transfer switch or just run the charging circuit. I know you shouldn't really use breakers, but I figured it would be safer than just a regular switch or anything like that. Plus, they were cheap. That's pretty much the gist of it. The only thing I don't like is when we turn the generator off or the generator dies, this transfer switch is not instant. It takes a moment to shut off as the generator winds down. But yeah, pretty much in in sense, if you're if you're watching anything on the computer or playing any kind of game and a generator dies on you, yeah, this guy this guy will screw you over. Save often.